Well, there was a deadly crash nearly every day in the valley. That was this past week. And now people in the community and some uh, traffic investigators, they want to know why all of this is happening. It has been dangerous out there. A majority of the collisions have been in Metro's jurisdiction. And Kristen Drummond joins us live uh, near Sahara and Walnut, the intersection there with the uh, concerns and digging into uh, the data over this. Kristen? Well, Jim and LaToya, Metro Police reporting more than 110 people dying in car crashes so far this year, just in their jurisdiction alone. The latest one happening here on Sunday on Sahara. Police reporting a motorcyclist failed to take this curve here you see behind me. The motorcyclist ended up hitting a brick wall as well as a utility pole and dying. Now with this rising number of crashes, especially deadly crashes, Metro Police are warning we are getting very close to our number last year, near 160 people killed on our roadways. Last four to five days, we've had at least one fatal every day. So it's, it's, it, it, that's, it, it's just mind numbing. Rising concerns about deadly crashes in the valley, keeping the Metro traffic unit busy. Data shows six people killed since last Sunday in five crashes around Metro's jurisdiction totaling 111 people who died so far this year on our roadways. We had the same problem last year, where in the space of the last 10 days of the month, uh, we had multiple fatalities. Lieutenant Ficklin with Metro's traffic unit. He suspects better weather as a contributing factor. Uh, you have more people that are out and about, maybe more pedestrians that are out and about, more motorcycle riders that are out and about. At least two of the recent deadly crashes involve motorcycles. Another, a bicyclist hit by a car. The other collisions are a car hitting vehicles. Police report three of the crashes since last Sunday happening between 4.30 and 6 in the afternoon. Two others between 11 and midnight, including at Rainbow near the Lake Mead intersection last week. A Jeep driver hit two cars. A Dodge and Kia stopped at a red light, killing 20-year-old Khalil Peters, a passenger sleeping in the Dodge. Well, he didn't even know it was coming. I spoke exclusively with Peter's future mother-in-law in the hospital last week. She was driving the Dodge and survived the crash. Metro Police not sharing a likely cause at this time. I just want people to know that they got to be careful out of here driving. Metro Police report excessive speed as one of the leading causes of fatal collisions in 2024. 26 cases compared to 12 last year up 116 percent according to the recent data. We have a terrible speeding problem in our community just in case you haven't noticed and that terrible speeding problem is causing us to lose more and more lives on the road. Traffic safety advocate Erin Breen monitors the trends. She and others know it's shaping up to be another deadly year on the streets. What most people don't realize is historically year after year we have more people killed and fatals on our roadways than we have homicides in our valley. Now, every week, Metro Police actually update their traffic data statistics. This is a copy of the most recent one going between January 1st and September 20th. And while we have been talking about the rise in deadly crashes, it actually shows we are down about 1,000 crash investigations overall. So while deadly crashes are up, the total number of crashes around the valley are down. Jim and LaToya. Well, hopefully we can work on getting that deadly number down as well to save more lives. Thank you so much.